me. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. First mate Rakir, who can only see whiteness at the moment. I, I, I thought we fixed that. Fuck. Give me a second then. Uh, if I move it here and then start the game up again. Let's see. I can see it on OBS. Can you see it? Nope. I see OBS, but I see only black, uh, white uh, screen. Okay, this is exactly the same way that we done this the last time. So why is it not working now? Uh. Is this one uh, of those games that are going to be random in cooperation? Hopefully not. Uh, let's see. If we turn off full screen again. Um, hmm. Are you are you seeing it or actually? Nope. Hmm? Uh, hmm. Okay, this is extremely annoying. Then if it's still, it worked precisely last time with this. And where did I leave that other? Uh, where is that full screen one? Or the up there that should be moved up a hell of a lot more but okay uh hmm yeah we're going to have to live work this a bit then to see if it can work get it to work because last time we got it to work through screen capture hmm okay so i'm yeah. starting it up now oh on windowed modes obs should capture that Still, still white. Okay, the hell. For and I, if I, I can close... hear the game. Okay, is it still only giving white, or is it showing something now? Only white. That's not then changed something, something else. Bit. Something for... else is screwing with it then. Yeah, for okay. Now I see something. Okay, I, I closed the... I closed the chatty program. So, well, why would that be? <laughs> Okay, attempting a startup on windowed mode again. Game should be captured okay. any second. There you go. Okay, so now for some reason it does want to work like that, but uh, yeah, I'm, I think I really am just going to revert back to the previous OBS version if they can't fix it by the next stream. If you uh. can revert it back. Now I just have to uninstall. I just basically just have to copy everything into a profile and then uninstall OBS and reinstall the old version. But for now, uh, three minutes in. Uh, ahoy everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be Captain Hillen with First Mate Drakir and welcome back to MDK2. Hello. Uh, yeah, last time we got it to work without screwing up like that. And we got to Max's second level. And we saw a bunch of aliens do the freaking Macarena. Yeah, uh, wait, hold on. We, we had tr struggle last time as well. And we had less of it. Uh, only a small error, I believe. But not to the point that we had to restart. Uh, not to screw around with it again. Either way, we're back on the gym dandy. And also, I see broken. red lines everywhere. Yeah, that's part of the OBS updates. Let me just remove that. Much better. Okay. Oh. God damn it. These. Uh, yeah. We're back on the Jim Dandy, the Dr. Fluke Hawking ship again. Or his, well, fluke of <laughs> a spaceship. Or space station, I guess. Wait, are you loading the game? Oh, come. Has the OBS freeze? For, uh, I was getting confused for... I'm still only seeing the menu and not seeing your mouse move. I want to see you move. Give me a second then. I, we had this last time as well. So, yeah, good thing I do have this on the second screen so I can actually check. Okay. Fourth or fifth time's the charm. Going back on full screen with this. And full screen capture. Also, let me just turn all of that off. 
turn that back on. There we go. Now you also get to see the launcher. So play MDK2. This was how it worked last time. Right? Now everything's... I can see everything here moving. Okay. It, I, I have no idea why it's... Okay, that is one little issue, but hopefully not too much. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is nope. too much because the game is not showing again. Yeah, it, it stopped as you cr quick you moved your mouse over to max two. Then it stopped. Hmm, okay. It has again. loaded up a few times without those icons. Actually, could that... Could it be because I turned all of those icons off or something? Let's Maybe? hope it might be that or just a startup thing. Ugh. Oh dear. And also, yeah, people, this is our old game. Okay, just so let sometimes this play through. Old games can be a very str big struggle to stream. Like, you, you might be able to play them just fine, but to stream them? And again, it. What the hell is going on with this? Or. Let's see, if I load the autosave instead, will that do it? No, because it's still it's, stuck. It's still stuck on max two again. Okay, why does it freeze up there for some reason? Or wait, let me try something else. Start up the mission. Then pause the game. And then let's see if I can fool it. Uh, turn this off. Wait. Wait, something else is going on. I just turned it off and it's still showing. Wait, is something else capturing it and getting in the way or something? Hmm. Let's see. Let's reselect you to MDK2. Capture specific window. And not foreground. Specific MDK2, and if I move back to the game now, will it just will it work? There we go. Yep. No, no, okay. It works. Okay, so we found a workaround now. <laughs> yep, I, I have no idea why the hell it's doing that. And because of that, let's extend the stream 10 minutes because, well, seven minutes of technical difficulties. Yeah. At least we yeah. in the afternoon. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's not too audible over the music, but the door is broken. <laughs> Anyways, we're back on the Jim Dandy, which is now well been taken over by the aliens. I'm not sure they actually ever given a name or anything or a race or something. But yeah, yeah we're we're going to do what any. Well, four-legged, you know, well, six-legged robot dog is going to do when dealing with inv <laughs> with invaders in their home. We're just going to be a good dog, guard dog, and get them out. All right, now remember, you need to destroy the consoles here for some reason first. Uh, more dogs of the day. I've been dealing with a big one today. <laughs> yeah, chased around or something? No, I have to walk him. I, I, I took him for I thought, all right, maybe he's more obedient than the smaller one. It is actually ours. Yeah, I was only half right, and he was a bit more disgusting. Like, he took a piss, then he nosed that into his own piss later. Oh, come on. Yeah, I also had, oh, come on. I, I, I was actually ready to give him compliments. Well, seeing that, and such, I feel like, Yep, yeah, you're not getting any compliments here, buddy. And uh, yeah, new <clears throat> new enemy ultimate version. Also, let me correct that on OBS with the borders for you. Thank uh, you. I, I, I was uh, about to give up on that just in case if that breaks anything. Okay, I can't make that the lower part any lower. But yeah. Okay, we need to break. We now have to deal with uh, fire versions of those little scams that roll around. They are a lot louder, though, I think I recall. So... Yeah, and... uh, go on. Uh, so they're not as easy at ambushing us. All right. 
and yeah, if, if I sound tired today, people, it's but we, we try to early vote today. All people realized the information given online and on the mail was wrong. Also, and we, the dog has an yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, and we spent like a, about one and a half hours trying to just find the place which was poorly described to begin with. Only realized, oh, they are not open as they were supposed to be and poorly marked out. And we had to bring my nephew along and I hoped he would fall asleep. He did not fall asleep. Yep. So we got home, we also had to bring him out in hope to be, for he can fall asleep again along with the dogs. And it was like a very cramped elevator with all that. Okay, now we're getting some bassy tunes. <laughs> and just uh, say that the I bass need. drops further. I, I, just what I need at the moment. I need to feel a bit more alive again. I mean, I have a big mix of feeling awake and tired. Like, you know, sometimes after you walk too much and a bit frustrated, you get a bit of a clump in your chest? Uh, sort of. I, I've had enough times where I should be asleep, but I'm still wide awake, mostly due to stress and hello. Yeah, sort of in stress sense. Yeah, it, it should be a better plan, but uh, no, no. It's one thing or another, and then we just... Oh, oh, like, at least we can try to go and vote now. Nope, you have to go vote tomorrow morning. Uh, and that's how I basically feel through half my work day, and I'm pretty sure that's Elvis. I think, I think that's... I think they placed in, Elvis intentionally as a trap. <laughs> and you fell for it. Okay, uh, these guys are... I think those are a returning enemy from the first MDK, because I, re can't, I recall from what I've seen of the first, there are enemies that are very similar to that, though more blocky and... Uh, hello. Uh, let's just... Oh. Let's just assume something went wrong whilst they were trying to figure out the microwave. <laughs> Microwaves. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, actually, as you described, you, as you remember, I used to feel like this uh, in the past when I had another work uh, and walked uh, 40 minutes there, then 40 minutes home after the day's work. Yeah, that's quite a thing. In... Oh, there's one of them. Okay, I, re I remember this place. A lot of places in this game are memorable. Uh, we just have to figure out what the hell to do here, or... No, we don't need to shoot those. Hmm. There should be something to shoot somewhere. Probably a console behind one of these tubes. I'm guessing the floaty boys will just keep spawning infinitely until we get up there and deal with them. Uh, luckily, their shots aren't too great. There we go. That activates a platform. Oop, and... Freeze the, pr the prisoners. Those are some big cocoons for little guys. There we go. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, I I'm guessing these were... Yeah, aliens that Hawking's captured somehow for study, because this is, this takes uh, place immediately after the last battle with, uh, with uh, the alien forces. Yep, this game, at least. Ah, not, not much of a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they literally were celebrating their victory over the first wave, and then another fucking Minecrawler shows up. And freaking Swing Swang just swings his wang into everything they've been working on. Helian, really? <laughs> really? But his name is basically a dick joke, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you had just to make it worse, like, you, you, you get him bunked later. <laughs> By not a dog. Okay, leaving a gun behind, but we have enough as is. And yeah, these guys will just keep spawning without an actual spawner for us to destroy. 
There we go. This is one is broken. Yeah, broken. I was expecting them to keep shifting the pitch, but no. Still yeah, that's a nice detail. Yeah, just <laughs> little stupid fun things. Uh, yeah, uh, it does make me wonder, though, what if uh, yeah, Planet Moon Studios and Shiny Entertainment kept doing games like this? Hmm. Okay, last platform. That's what to say, it could go better, but it could go worse. True. This, I saw a video recently basically tearing apart Halo Infinite, uh, comparing what uh, Bungie Studios did with uh, Halo and what 343 have been doing, and yeah, they're, they're basically trying to turn Halo into a gotcha game. What? Like, problems that still haven't been fixed, modes that are completely missing, and, well, the only thing actually being maintained is the freaking cash shop. Oh, and then there's off. a way out. Yeah, I, I may not be a Halo fan, but I do respect it, and I feel like it's one of the things you should probably be more careful about. And turning it into a cash shop game or gacha is probably like. I don't hate gacha games, as long as you don't need to spend too much real money on it. Like, if you spend real in-game money, like just a, you know, gold and silver fund in the world, then fine. But when a real money comes involved for gacha, that's when I want to put my foot down saying no. Yeah, I played multiple kinds of, and uh, I can definitely, oh, hello. Someone got put on janitor duty. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, some examples I'd say would be... Uh, I'm not sure if these really count as gotchas, but you can... Examples of games where you can pay for character shards and such. Uh, Star... That one's broken, and these little shits are just going to keep continuously spawning. Uh, come on. Okay, so we can only go to the, the crapper, so let's just get out of there before shit gets really heated with those things. I will not apologize. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, I played some mobile games. Uh, some examples of those would be uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and Marvel Strike Force. And of those two, I would definitely say that... Okay, hello. Good thing I just noticed that. I'm guessing that was a hidden a hidden safe or, or level transition. Okay. Did it just freeze? Yep. So let's try, see if we can screw, unscrew this. What if we just... There we go. Okay, so we just deselect and reselect the game. And that works. Uh... What I was saying, uh, yeah, Mo Galaxy of Heroes and Marvel Strike Force. I'd definitely say that Strike Force is the better one because with Galaxy of Heroes, it's become more and more obvious since they swap developers that on they only really care about, <clears throat> yeah, wait. They're basically whale hunting, pe looking for players to exploit uh, their wallets empty out of. Yeah, th that's not a good thing. Like. Marvel Strike Force still has a lot of egregious stuff, like those extremely high-priced packs and such, and hello, crack. Uh, but at the very least, a lot of you know, a lot of stuff can still be done, even comp somewhat competitively, without actually having to spend anything, come on. And they actually are still working on story stuff. Uh, Galaxy of Heroes have has given up on any sort of storytelling as well. No, they did. They were pretty good with that at the beginning. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, like they, they used. Galaxy of Heroes used to have. Uh, oh, that's the way out. Used to have. Uh, there are, of course, legendary characters that you were. Uh, that you can need to work. Need to do specific things for to actually get and such, and then get survive through uh, distinctive challenges. And they used to be cinematic with those, but last I played, not anymore. Not at all. Okay. Well, there. If you do to butt your cuts, it should be not be too bad. That's when they do something for the. Story cutscene, like uh, some at least picture and dialogue. Uh, none at all. At best, really you get a bit, uh, tiny bits of scripts, uh, uh, tiny bits of text, and some minor animations. Okay, uh, that's a bit pity. And they did. Uh, from what I've known, what them. From what I hear, that the amount that that game makes, they definitely have no reason at all to cut their budget. Oh, hello. Okay, that's the way to go. Uh, let's use up these, yeah. because we can't carry all of those Gatling guns. Yeah, I, 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 probably, I, I probably never play a mobile game due to those uh, things. Also, how much and radioactive junk does the Doctor have? Do we dare to ask? Hello. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, little secret. Oh, about bullet games. Like, have you heard of the MOMA game known as Jurassic uh, uh, Primal Ops? Uh, I know that there was a Jurassic Park Go game. Yeah, as in an actual on the Go game, where like Pokemon Go. Yeah, that, those are on still. Uh, Primal Ops is basically that, but you get you have a, a like an Ops team with dinosaurs. Apparently, seems to be sort of popular, but it been released officially two months ago, and in two months it's gonna close down already. Wait, there was an earlier, there was something like that before. So they did they shut down the first version to relaunch no, no. it. Uh, Primal Ops has been in early access, and it's more, again, you, you are a person with a gun running around and shooting other hunters with your dinosaurs helping you. Okay. However, that's been poor. Apparently, Universal is shutting down due to potential overload that they have made stolen textures from fan work. <sighs> First, they thought they stole textures from... Uh, you're just about Park Builder on those, but those are probably universal, so they, they should be fine. But as quick people noticed, there were textures from not only from fanworks, but also from other games that's not universals. Like Prehistoric yeah. Park. Yeah, that's a good way to piss off the fans. But there there was a, a Jurassic Park Go game before that, but yeah, there was more like Pokemon with dinosaurs. Uh, that, that one's still around. Okay. But yeah, as far as I know, Primal Ops has surprised people that uh, they already announced that, oh yeah, we're in this month, uh, I think it was next month or something, they're gonna close down after only four months. And people speculation that did something they should not done, like stealing textures from other games and uh, from fans. Yeah. Ben. I, get, I think by now it's obvious what we're supposed to do in this room. We're just supposed to follow the flying fuel tank. Oh dear. There's not too much challenge to it. Just, uh, at least there aren't enemies attacking us whilst we're doing this. It is a bit annoying to just keep going with it. Hell, don't yinx it. We know we have probably been that more that at least there's no energy here, just suddenly for you to get eaten. <laughs> no, we we do have no idea what the hell Hawkins has all across this ship. And well there's a I think this is supposed to be some sort of combust part of a combustion engine or something that's flooded with radioactive material. Or pumping something else. 
I, I think I should be, should be glad that uh, you are a robot or a cyborg. Like, is there any organic component on him? Uh, not sure. So let's just go with full robots. There might be something about you know, the specifics in the manual. Yeah, no. In early games, they were very sloppy of what was a cyborg and an android and a robot. Yeah. Like, like if you were to find an uh, intelligent life form, there would probably be more cyborg or android than robot for a robot. Yeah, they should not get sentient, sentience. Call it. Uh, well, a robot with a sentience it, is basically no longer a robot. Yeah. But yeah, I I knew the floor was going to fall out there, so that, that's why I was that's why Three, I was being a bit uh, two, con conservative one. with the uh, fuel. Uh, so let's just empty these out for new ones. I, I hope I expected it to the floor to open again. <laughs> I'll give the game one thing: it didn't show obvious crack lines on that. That that would be something you'd have to actually know about to. Uh, <clears throat> Not fall for. What the? <laughs> um... Okay, I, I have. I think I have a new and good meme for this one. More Daka. Uh, what well, that too? Wait. Oh, it's going to reset us to the last save point, which is up here. Well done. Okay, at least not too far. And I was to do General Kenobi. <laughs> I think you know this character we we're referring to there. Yeah, uh, got it. Get that. Uh, his, his name was Grievous, right? Uh, Grievous, yeah. Uh, General Grievous, the uh, four armed. Yeah, he does count as a cyborg, because he still has organics. Yeah, and he was originally organic to begin with. Yep. And he was basically turned into a cyborg against his will. True. Yeah, after Dooku uh, basically false flagged a, a Jedi attack on him. Which is why he so freaking hates Jedi. Yep. And, uh, oh god, I forgot what his species he was, is actually, before he got into, turned into a cyborg. But I uh, think they were the, a warrior race. Yeah, the, 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 the race with the face masks, yeah, that is somewhat kept in, in, even in his cyborg form. The, I think it starts with a K or something. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to look it up, but I know they are... Very dangerous and are very proud of the mask and all that. It's one of the things I think he kept... Kept from its uh, original uh, body, like... Uh, yeah, he, he got more strict in wearing it or something? Maybe. I, I think it's a bone mask, not an actual mask. Uh, but yeah. Also, General Grievous, because he was grievously wounded. Oh. Darth Sidious, who is Insidious. Helian, why? <laughs> yeah, you can blame I... Lucas for that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why I just not realized now. <laughs> so I had a feeling that it's something unrelated to some of them, but uh, those, why, why did I think of Grievous, Ponder, Insidious. Uh. Also, a lot of people think Darth Vader is that it's just the Dutch word for father, but no, it's Darth Invader. Because the very first hey. thing he does is invade another ship. Or at least that's what I think. That or you just invent a new pun of it. 
Oh dear, that's, this is painful. And, well, Darth Maul is too simple to make a pun out of, except for, well, he got mauled himself. Don't you mean, uh, cleaved? True. But I think ba the I should look this up, I guess, but the specific definition of Maul probably is, well, similar to causing uh, grievous wounds. But you should say you get mauled by a bear. Yeah. And they are, they're they busy pummel you with the claws, you get scratches and broken bones. Okay, back to here. Now let's put up a quick save. Grab this, and let's see, do they just... Okay, I forgot that they spawn here. Hmm. Okay, how are... Okay, this is just going to float back and forth. This is just back to normal non-jetpack platforming. Uh, above instant death goo. So let's make generous use of the quick save. <laughs> And yes, that flash is them just teleporting in. Oh dear. It is, it is a good warning to know that they have teleported in. Yep. Hmm. I'll have to I'll have to double check, but I think the HD version uh, I I know for a fact that it hasn't reskinned the final boss of the game. But I'm not sure if it reskins the standard enemies as well or not. A bit later, they only reskin the main characters. Yeah, which this, all of this would still look the same except for Max, which is, which is part of why I do not like the HD version because it makes the characters stick out. Well, I've already, I've already used <laughs> comparisons there, but they. They just stick. They just look that they don't belong at all next to everything else. Yeah, that, that is a, a quite a bad feeling, which makes you wonder: Were they unable to? Were they spend so time to make sure it's to work? So they were able to do risking to everyone, or was it just out of laziness? I uh, can't say, of course. I can't, well, I can't say too accurately, but yeah, I, I'm. I'm guessing a, either they rushed it or they were rushed to release it. But all the same, if they, the the, the new models for Max, Kurt, and Doc, and uh, yeah, and Swang, they do look really, really freaking good. So maybe it's just that they spent too much time uh, on the characters and didn't have enough time to work on anything else. <laughs> Possibly, but you did say it was very buggy. Yeah. Oh, I think we are at the final boss. Or not the final boss, the boss of this level. You need a good swat with a rolled up newspaper, you little mongrel. Paper training's over, fat head. Your bad master bred a bad doggy. Allow me to demonstrate who the master is. What and the... Now, play nice with the other doggy. <laughs> Here we got run over. This is bad, Max. The uh, BFB's version of Max. Uh, if you only realized the amount of pun you just made. Oh, you can explain it for me because I'm going to have to focus on how dealing with this bastard, because he actually regenerates. Mad Max? Yeah. But that's basically the only one I can think of beside Mad Max. Put the generic bad version of a character. Well, that too. 
And yeah, right, the BFB is actually, actually commentating on this fight as well. His actual name is Bad Max. Yep. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that the loading that the game lo loads so fast, uh, the comics you know, that act as uh, loading screens would have told that. And okay, yeah, we need to we need to keep him away from this here because this is where he heals. Ah, gotcha. And yeah, his primary fire is a freaking machine. <laughs> is a freaking rocket launcher. Yep. Okay, no, this is where batteries spawn. Okay, so he can just pick those up as well. All right. Nope. Time for the heavy weapons. Yep. Yeah, car batteries. Those heal a lot. Like, practically full heal. So it would explain why he heals so much from them. That... Uh, yeah, at this point, it basically becomes Rock'em Sock'em Robots, with actual robots. Um, do you mean, uh, that guy shooting robots? I don't really see much of, uh, punching. Uh, I, there was moment in that, we, yeah, Ma Bad Max was constantly running into us. Ah. Where are you? Is he looking for some other pickup to use? Where are you? Okay, where are those coming from? And yeah, Hawking is also shouting through everything. Uh, there he is. Or there his attacks are. <laughs> he wasn't loaded in himself. There we go. Oh. Okay, the game's frozen again. Uh, hmm. Maybe we could hear the audio, but uh, yeah, the screen uh, turned black. Okay, yeah. That... I, I maybe had trouble with all the games before, but this is a new level of issue. Hmm. Okay, we have a bit of a problem then because. Uh, did it, where did, did I put the quick save here? I can't see anything. Yeah, I'm checking. Okay, this is just before Bad Max. Uh, because it's going to be a bit of an issue if we can't actually, well, see the cutscenes after so let me see if full screen record works again maybe that will do hmm well, we will have to oh, take him on again but we know how to deal that how to do that now that uh, yeah hawking is supposed to be in that bubble <laughs> and again <laughs> anyway catch the number of that stupid robot <laughs> But, uh, yeah, there isn't actually much strategy here. Just camp the healing items and kick his ass. Was that a Discord reference? Uh, if you mean me, I <laughs> didn't make it intentionally. Yeah, you asked about the robot's number. <laughs> no, there was more the... Uh, like, getting hit by a truck and such, and... <laughs> Yeah, just like Ringe would have every time he got knocked over. <laughs> Did anyone get the number of the donkey cart? <laughs> yeah, that sort of gag I was going for. Yep, he's over there. But yeah, we just need to go in here, camp the heels, and he'll come running for us eventually. I, I, I have to say, I really hope some other games will allow us to have a, a something like, like Max here. You are... What would the term be? Quad wheeling? Yeah, I think we talked about that before. But yeah, well, just it... four freaking guns at once. Like, <laughs> what is there not yeah, to love? Yeah, that, you usually see that in nice fantasy try. art and some novels. 
and it's some egg games where you had them as enemies, not yourself. Yeah, the but closest thing I can, the closest thing I can think of at the moment are the uh, Napali from Unreal, but they are NPCs only, so they yeah, don't like, use but, guns anyways. There are other games where you use an enemy with many arms, but uh, oh, anyway, I mean, a unit with many arms, but they usually are units in an RTS or something, or like a car game. No, yeah, just Max is unique. For, he's the one you play as. You give him different equipment. There this makes go. him a bit more unique. Like you get to decide which weapons you use. A quick save there, just in case this goes wrong again. There we go. So we'll just have to switch between, well, game and full screen Whoa. capture. Obsolete mutt. Welcome to the pound. <laughs> Max. Good to see you, my fuzzy friend. Let's get to the bridge. Not yet. Payback must be initiated. Well, wherever this portal leads, there's sure to be trouble. Sick him! No need to tell me twice, Doc. Better kickstart the reactors. I've work to do. The hell does the doc get his uh, food from? Acme? But he realized he has two brains and this. Now, this is science. Was that Bugman's brew? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, wait, there was too few X's. Okay, and so we start with the doctor's next level. Uh, oh, uh, quick save? Yep. A actually, yes, it okay. auto-saves at the start of the level, which is always nice in a game. Yeah, it's always good to have a backup. Yeah. It, it, at least when it comes to a game this old. Doctor, I've left you a few presents to play with in my absence. <laughs> Watch your step. <laughs> uh, yeah, this level is a bit infamous because uh, timed puzzles. Or, well, timed oh, cable puzzles. No. Uh, let's see, that one goes up there. You oh, can so just shoot the buttons, I believe. That alien looks oddly familiar to me. He, he reminds me of a Diggy one. Uh, Vadermon, or Vadermon, I believe. Maybe. Yeah, it might be his name, unless... It might be Vedemon or Edemon. It might be one of those things who have two names. Uh, actually, I think I have him card. Yeah, Etamon is the monkey. I don't know how I'm getting Ette, I said Ede, not Ette. D, not T. Uh, okay. T is the monkey. And you see the monkey, uh, Etamon, kick him. Mm. I, I don't know. I like, here's the thing. I, I don't know how he is in uh, English sub and such, but in Swedish translation of Digimon, he was the ep he was the epiphany of annoying Elvis stereotype. Same. <laughs> like I, I don't mind Elvis actors and all that, but but you have the more annoying ones. It makes me just want to punch them. But, yeah, this entire level is going to be about those bloody bombs, and they're going to get more complicated, of course. So, let's put down a save. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, okay, I've got some more... I got some more trivia about this game. And am I going the wrong way here? Yep, oh, nope. Okay, 
new enemy type here. And these spits. Okay. Um, hmm. There must be something around here that we can pick up, but... Come on, dog. Get some bloody aim. Ah, there it is. Let's see. It's... A, <laughs> it's baguettes. <laughs> I just hear a distance. What? <laughs> okay, little detour. I'll wait with the explanation for when Drakia returns. I'm still in the room. <laughs> okay, as since I no longer have the cards in the portfolio or whatever it's called, so I probably have them in my box. But I do have. My own homemade big mollick soup is basically printed from the web for okay. Wikipedia. Oh, I have mm. not. I don't think I've organized this properly. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. How many did I copy out? <laughs> Bloody heck. I, I'm not sure how I were allowed to copy out this many. Still alive. Let's see how you tackle this one. And bomb number two. Okay. This one is going to be annoying in that we need to go back and forth. At least I, I don't think any of these will actually have enemies attacking us at the same time. Okay, let's see. Uh, this cable here crosses over here. Uh, but yeah, some some more trivia about this game. Okay, that one's correct. Uh, the voice actors for Kurt and the Doc, they're actually uh, they're actually producers of uh, Bioware now. Producer Why? directors. Okay, that is kind of impressive. Yeah, and at least one of them, I think it is the Doc's voice actor, is also one of the co-founders. Oh, you think we have a similar situation like with the Tiberian Sun? Uh, I forget what we would have had with Tiberian Sun, but probably then, yeah. Uh, Hillian, do, do you remember the character named Kane? Uh, uh, yeah, that is, that it's actually one of that's it's actually one of the uh, they were they were basically acting as a stand-in. Uh, they they were doing such a good job at it that they stayed on, that they actually stayed on for the role. Um, Helia, he he was the director. Okay, oh, hello. Yeah. Right. He owned the game. The but uh, could you help me? Oh, there's too many of them, Kermit. I don't stand a chance. This will take Kermit. the starch out of your shorts, Doctor. <laughs> And it's more plutonium. Great jinkies! This looks like plutonium! Uh, yeah, what that is... It's, uh... <laughs> you know the story about Jacqueline Hyde? No, oh, that's why I said mentioned Hyde in the comic menu. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. <laughs> the dog basically hulks out for a while. <laughs> there we go. Take that, you nebula ne'er do wells! <laughs> you saved my life! Oh, think nothing of it. But no time for chit chat, my friend. Have you seen a megalomaniacal brain come this way? Yep! I sure did! He went that way! Thanks again, Ta. I don't have the thing in my big Wikipedia thingy, and I, 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 I don't think I dare to guess how many papers I used for this. Holy crap! The, the mic picks it up. 
<laughs> Drop me the damn thing. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, this away. <laughs> anyways, we, uh, I, I, the baguettes that uh, we picked up at the bridge. Uh, oh, hello oh, again. Doctor, you continue to surprise me. This bomb will be the end of your puny mind. Here we go again. I think slash hope this is the last one. Uh, let's see. It goes there. It goes there. Okay. Now we got to keep an eye on that area. Uh, though technically speaking, we could just quick save before every button and just... Oh. Well, let me just show you what happens if you press a wrong one, but since I almost accidentally did. <laughs> yeah, that's a decisive game over. Almost miss that. Well, just... Let's not install one of those on our ship. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, since there's not going... I was expecting enemies to be on the other side here. Uh, but basically, different types of bread are different weapons, and the baguettes are, well, homing. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Well, Doctor, you continue to surprise me. This bomb will be the end of your puny mind. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> okay. I think at least it's the same order every time, so it would be possible to speed run this and yeah it's the one okay. over there just need to keep an in mind that yeah, uh, and also, yeah i think it reminds me of vademon you know like the alien with a ray gun yeah okay to our left or the, to early early game, they have to put him in a ufo due to the due to technical difficulties keeping him his original tentacle legs okay uh, behind, left, okay, yeah, we're going to need to use the ladder a hell of a lot here, and it's, uh, mm. and I've lost which one it is, I think it's supposed to be this one, let's find out, nope, <laughs> There we go. Now all the way back down for the next one. Uh, at, at least we have a generous timer on this one. And there are, there are buttons down here as well. Yeah, I hear it like time puzzle. Like, there, there are sometimes time puzzles where you wonder oh. how are you supposed to finish it? in time or if you succeed even if you be basically so almost dead from it okay so the or uh, which one connects to which layer is the same but the, the order in which they go does seem like it might be randomized um let's see that one goes there and then this one Uh, where do we climb up here? Up here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I was pretty surprised to find out it. <laughs> at least one of the voice actors was one of the freaking founders. No, it's not. There are only five people credited with the voice acting of this game. And that's another one that goes up. Uh, though none of them are... Uh, Max isn't assigned to any of them, so... I don't know who voiced Max or not. And I think at least one of the... At, I think at least one of the five voice actors passed away in the in the 2010s. Um, but if, if they eventually do manage to make an MDK 3, uh, I would be really impressed if they could get at least most of the voice actors to return. Yeah, well, at least, time. At least there's Gamble some time. that know how to mimic the original voices. 
through it. Otherwise, they could just get Steven Blum <laughs> to do Max's voice. And this is a gamble. And a gamble that doesn't pay. Oh, dear. Oh, so the hell is the BFB's plan? If if, if the doctor fucks up the bomb, the, B, the entire thing, BFB included, goes up. Yeah, not a good yeah. idea. Also, yeah. I think... I think I remember something about the guy playing Kane. I think he was already back in Tiberian Sun's development. I think he was... I honestly, I remember wrong. I think he is the CEO of Westwood. Okay. So yeah, he was not just a random actor. He... He, he was the boss that you the <laughs> thing did the stand-in. And he ended up doing so well, he just took the extra work to be Kane. Okay, that, that might be accurate. I, I know at the very least it was someone in the upper staff. Oh yeah, just way higher than expected. I, I just have to investigate, so I'm not to remember wrong. I only recently learned this, and I learned this when I was getting a bit sleepy. So Not the best time for learning, yeah. Yeah, it, sometimes it's actually a good time for learning, but when it comes to like, fancy titles, maybe not. Hello. And yeah, as you can see, they actually they act more like rockets, it seems. Homing, homing missile baguettes. Can <laughs> uh. we get oh, you two no. down there? It's only I want to make a. Uh... Hey, do you remember this special burger I made? Uh, I know that you made one at one point. I forget what you put into it, though. Well, uh, wait, That's wait, a miss. what? I put in a burger in it. <laughs> wait, what, what else would you expect to put in that? Fish? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, but there is fish yeah. burgers. <laughs> that reminds me actually of something stupid. Uh, th there's a channel I, I'm not really subscribed to, but I do watch every now and then called The Click. And they, they do, uh, they do, uh, yeah, yeah bas they do, basically do reaction videos to uh, subreddits. And one of them they did recently was r slash facepalm, where someone complained that their fish sandwich stank of fish. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, all does it smell like. Oh, crap. Rotten fish? Now I am really uh impressed, Doctor. Of course, you have no chance with this one. Zero. Nil. Okay, now hopefully this is the bloody last one. Because I remember this, because... Yeah. Darkness and cables. Oh no. Oh yeah, uh, I was about to say... Wait, I don't know if it's an actual burger, but I, I nicknamed uh, my special burger the... Long Burger. And here I'm going to lose it, I think. But the curious one is basically a baguette with hamburger in it. Okay, so basically a long burger. Yeah. I, I don't know if I was had the idea or you had gave me the idea to call it a long burger. Uh, yeah, at this point I'm just going to freaking guess. I, I can't I can't keep an eye on those cables, so it, it's it's this or just. Yep, yeah, to basically like, the same. I, I, I've seen this also before in other games, very easy to keep track of. But here, oh yeah, it, it's not gonna be easy. Okay, it's one of these two. Like it's the very last one that we trapped. No, but, but I say this: oh. th this would be easier to do and keep track of without the timer. Uh, that one? Nope. <laughs> yeah, we are going to be hearing the start of this track a lot. <laughs> also, plutonium. Because at this point, this is actually faster than trying to backtrack all of these things. Um. Yeah, there's, there's a reason people don't like this level, simply because of stuff like this. Yeah, like, as I, I can't get behind the instant death. Just 
remove the timer. Lucky. I feel like the Not timer lucky. is the thing that adds unnecessary stress. Okay. Only a few remaining. Not that one. And it's... The ticking actually gets faster the more of these you press in. Oop. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's... There we go. And immediately we get attacked. Brookets? Brookets? Burgets? Oh, 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 wing. <sighs> oh, deep. Woo. Well, it appears your simian brain is actually evolving. Now, here's a little lecture on Darwinian survival. Uh oh. <laughs> That is quite the line, huh? Yeah, uh, what the? I think the lighter gives light? What? Oh, yeah, that would have helped a lot. <laughs> Thank you on that. Uh, uh, Gizarro? It's a bit hard to read for me here. Yeah, same. Uh, we have to fix that for... I can see what they write, but... The pink yeah. against the dark background is not working. Uh, all right, um, you will do right, apparently, Helium. Yeah. Uh, the, the pink isn't on our part. It's the the, the color of the name is selected by the uh, the user. But we could look into making that background maybe a bit darker or something. But yeah, yeah we, we have to fix that at some mm. point. Oh, actually, I think I remember what you actually need to do here. Yeah, and also, yeah, welcome to the stream, lad. Or lass. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I think I, I've seen your name around before, uh, some time ago. Uh, if that's the case, welcome back. If not, then, well, welcome all the same. And, yeah, what we have to do here is we have to get... We have to get hided, and then we have to jump on him to break his shield. But he first needs uh -oh. to get close enough. Come on, before the... There we go. There we... Oh, we need to attack him as well. Yeah, it has been quite a while since I played this game. Uh, plutonium should be spawning somewhere, at least. Uh, but yeah, how, how are you doing, uh, Gizarro? Doing well, I hope? Okay. Come on. Go, balloon for brains, and there we go. <laughs> we just pimp slap the heck out of him. All right. Yeah, I've been well here, just minor frustration outside of stream, but otherwise I'm well on my way as well. And yes, yeah, the plutonium spawn. And I hope your uh, day will be going smoothly from here on, uh, Gizarro. Gis Gis I'm already messing up the name, aren't I? <laughs> Sounds like it. I, I think you say it a bit like uh, Gizar Gizzards, but Gizarro. Yeah, I, I just trying to avoid accidentally sailing like uh, oh, some. Ain't that a sweet uh, superhero called Gizarro? Yeah, there's a super villain called Bizarro, and we're going to lose this before we get. There we go. At least we're immune during the fall. Or during the transformation. Ah, it is Gisaro. Okay, thank you, there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the lights are giving lights. That, that probably should have been a bit more obvious to me, so... Then again, a, a lot of games at this time did have lighters that didn't actually light things up, but... Oh well, excuses. <laughs> and just pimp smack him again. And yeah, we just repeat until his shield is gone. Then he should be an easy target, I believe. And it, it looks like the 
it looks like the dark's little bow tie actually grow <laughs> it changes along with him when he goes transparent. Yeah. <sighs> back in the day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The shit back in the day was uh, kind of weird. <laughs> okay, we do only have to land on him for that. Okay, that should be. Yep, that's his. Uh, that's his shield gone. So uh, now we just need to serve him toast. Oh dear. I had a toasted burger today. No? Not damn it. I, I, I toasted a bread while the burger cooked in the air fryer. Yeah, that, that helps uh, give a bit more crispiness. Oh yeah, especially with the pool of bread. It's a bit more softer and... Here's the thing. When you uh, toast pool of bread and put butter on it, it, the butter instantly melts smoothly all over. You just move all over it without a problem. Uh, ooh. Ah, ooh. I guess it became brain fruit, the toast. I, I heard, heard people Such having toast and brain, but... a waste of intelligence. Allow me to put it to better use. <laughs> What? Maybe you should have <laughs> locked yourself down a bit more, Doc. What the heck? The hell is that piece? World coordinates received. Preparing atomic cascade. Don't you worry, boys. Here comes a little piece of home. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how space work indeed. Oh, holy. Janitorial duties. <laughs> and welcome to the alien homeworld. We yeah, full of jobs, <laughs> jets and noises. Swizzle over, ma. Good to be back. There's, There's my ride now. Hey! Mr. Head, you're a long way from home. Enough of your elusive games. Catch me if you can, little man. I know that. Swang. Must follow ship. Must get swang. <laughs> I'm cutting that one out. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh, and we gotta run. Uh, is, there also, is this really the final act? Uh, I think every character gets three levels, and then there's an extra one. Oh. But that is going by my memory, and it has been at least 10 years since I last played this game. <laughs> Holy. But yeah, if, if this game is short, maybe you do need to revert OBS back, since... Yeah, the other games should not be ha have that much of a problem to be streamed. Uh, we'll have to test the other games with that, uh, for that, though. Uh, for now, we do have... Oh, uh, uh, one of those things again. Multiple of them. Uh, we do have about an hour left to go. Oh. There we go. Uh, they see. are easy to deal with, but you can only shoot out... You can only kill them by, well, shooting out their Mysterio bubbles. Yeah. Ah, all right. There is a last boss, but I think the home world is the start of the last part. Okay. I think so, yeah. Yeah, every... Uh, Damn it. See, the stupid thing has a hit scan weapon, and that is really freaking annoying since you absolutely cannot oh. dodge that. Just look at our health from that. 
I mistook the fortress for shark fins. <laughs> and yes, okay. I'm gonna call them fortress, but I fought a lot. And now I have the stupid idea in my head of sharks farting. Can they even fart? I'm not sure, and I'm not sure if I want to know either. Okay. Right. This is going to keep spawning from here, it seems. And I think we have to activate these, but we have to find the first one to activate. And that's another... It's a pair of them. It, okay, that was mostly an accident. <laughs> Uh, there's the last boss, but I think the homeworld is the start of the last part. Yeah, for the for the last for the boss, we actually get to pick who we play as. Ooh, now, where the bloody? Yeah. Oh. I, I think I heard that you can do that in so many games, but it's not common, as yeah. far as I am aware. Okay, you can just gun them down, but they will just get back up. Now, where the hell is that first one? I do want to say, it's not every day, like, in, in like, Star Trek you get to see gaseous life forms, I hope I say gas clouds, but not every day you see those as an enemy in armor suit. Yeah, enemies in armors that you need to shoot out, those are more common, but gas-based enemies... Yeah, that's, that's yeah. so much. Yeah, that, that's a bit rarer, especially if it's a gas enemy using armor. Do it kind of make sense for them to use armor sands? Well, depending on what kind of gas they are, they might not be able to, to harm you much to begin with. Yeah. Gas so is, the armor is... I, I, oh, hmm. on. I think I can only think of like two, maybe three uh, gaseous life, uh, or gaseous species Ooh. in... Uh, in... Yes, media in general. Uh, I know there's one in Star Control 2, and I believe there is at least one in Star Trek. One species, it is uh, theorized about that they might be gaseous life forms, because no one's ever been able to dissect one. You mean Brie? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they have stolen the uniforms off the Nokia in them out, so... Yeah, that, that, that is, I, like, I find Brie interesting, but they've all, they have knocked them out and stolen their uniforms, yet they don't know how they look like. Yeah, that's dumb. That, yeah, I feel like an oversight, and I have been trying to decide if they should be moved, if they are a group of multiple species or just one. But if they were gaseous... But it wouldn't make sense why they're not seeing them, since if you but if you take off the suit, they probably disappear directly. But where the hell yeah, there, there's the a lot of uh, holes there. Yeah. Okay, seriously, where is the first one? We need to activate this as an air vent, but yeah. Also, I think there's been many gas life forms in Star Trek. Oh, hello. Why, why are you activated now? Did we seriously have to stand there and then shoot it? Really, game? That one was just stupid. Okay, those two are shot. The third one isn't activating. Do we need to go back here again for that? This one's done. This one's done. Why are you not revealed? Hmm. I think they're activating sniper modes. Hmm. Now, the first one, we, the first one we saw, I saw peeking out whilst just running around like this. I think. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe the yeah. Maybe it's that we're getting too close or something. That they sh shut up up in defense. 
Also, these things sort of look like the robot pirates from Rayman too, huh? Or what? No. They're, 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 they're being mechanized with the hook and all. Okay, I can get the hook, but they look extremely different. And they, are, they actually kind of look like they are bio-organic. Yeah, I think the suit is bio-organic. Yeah, or at least part of their body is organic. Yeah, bio-organic. Is, is that the actual term? Bio-organic? Is that that basically just double say organic? And yeah, that is double doubling up. Maybe biomechanized is the more correct term? Yeah. Like, it seems to be Capture both metal and organic parts. Hmm. How do... I think they are locking up when we get too close or something. Or maybe something else has been revealed. We're, we don't have any special ammo to bounce around or... Wait. Okay. Uh, you should, yes. why, why don't you just fly up there? It's a vent. Yeah, it, it got activated after the first two, and shooting that one up there unveiled this one for the next vent. <laughs> it, I, hey, I was wondering why is he not just walking, flying up the vent? I wonder well, maybe he can't use the vent yet. Yeah, oh, no, that no, was no. it. You, you, you was just you being dumb to not forgetting about the vent. Yeah, I thought we'd have to use the, uh, we'd have to activate all of them, but no, we just had to activate two of them. Uh, I, yeah, I guess that's kind of odd, uh, Kisaro. <laughs> okay, indirectly getting what we got. <laughs> or getting what we needed. Ugh. I can't English again. <laughs> Just your way to be a problem speaking Dutch. I don't have the problem sometimes to speak Swedish. Okay, do we need... We need... Re I think you can only activate those with sniper rounds, so doing that shouldn't do anything. Wait. I don't know if those can damage us, so let's not test that out. So did I already make the joke that the grenades look like angry shelters? Uh, angry what? Shelters from Pokemon. Shelters? The, the clam Pokemon. It evolves into Cloyster. Oh! Okay, no, no, now I remember, now I remember. What did that do? Okay, I removed one of these. Oop. Okay, since the glass breaks when... No, okay, here we need to throw one in the basket, so to speak. And that's too oh, far. That is too far up. Okay. Uh, I saw an item here. Oh, we need the, the sniper mortar. That's going to make... Oh, hello. Things a lot easier. I say as the most dangerous enemy in the game spawns behind us. Okay. <laughs> and still I miss. There. There. There we go. And... Okay, then we get... Bouncy, bouncy bullets. And more of these guys. 
quickly take you down before you start shooting. Best guess the moment you start shooting, I start dying. And they don't need to have full life. Well, they. We saw earlier that they they can actually hurt us if we have. <clears throat> if the own if they only have line of sight, they don't need their gun to actually have a line on us. Okay. Okay, that was a miss. <laughs> Nope. We basically have to hope that he's actually hit. You actually can see them when you fire yep. them. <laughs> because the, cam the camera follows them in the upper right. Almost there, but we're out. Let's see, are they going? Okay, they... They respawn up here every time we go down there. Is there anywhere here marked out on the ground? Oh, oh, hello, here we are. There we go. Now if we hit this thing, we should get a little hit on it. There we go. And that's the last one. Lovely. Ah, over here. I'm expecting a lot. I was expecting to go a, a long way up. Oh, which is in this one. Well, not that long, but still longer than the last one. I really need to look up what other music this guy made. That might be a problem, especially but since Jesper we didn't have a save up there. But is Jesper Kai the music director? Uh, give me a second, I'm being back in the way. Uh, uh, Alright. Ooh, okay, did not know that. That's probably going to uh, surprise Hilia when he's back. Come back on your mic, Hillian. Uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed and Hitman. That, I wouldn't have expected that, though, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, what I was back in the way for was the cats uh, sleeping in stupid places again. So, normal cat behavior. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ticket closed, cat working as intended. Uh... Yeah, I'm glad I, you, you saw the gif I sent you yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, the, yeah, the cat sandwich. Very sleepy. It, it, it uses a slice of bread as a pillow and just fall asleep as you put on a sandwich slice on top of his head. Just instantly fall asleep. It is a baby kid to say they are very tired early on. <laughs> well, a kitten is already a baby cat, so you're kind of doubling up on that again. <laughs> so maybe people say, it does say baby kitten for some reason. True. Uh, is this supposed to be here? Uh... So, I usually find it a bit weird when people give each other that nickname. Especially between uh, two people mm. having a romance, and they nickname each other, uh, one of them each other as a baby kid, and I feel like, what? Yeah, we're going to have to redo part of this, because I forgot he shoots the bloody floor from underneath you. There we go. But yeah, if you're going to give your lover a nickname, maybe put some thought into it. <laughs> Like, yeah. baby, I, I will, if I ever get a girlfriend, I will not call her baby kitten. Never. Are you going to call her adult kitten? That's probably I, a poor I, name. Yeah. Oh, Lottie, I, I, I don't know what I, 
I guess it would depend on her personality, what nickname I give her. Okay, like, that's it, basically the game telling you not that way. Yeah, that do is all again. Uh... Yeah, it isn't too much, at least. And we know where to quick save now. Okay. And yeah, the crashing noises should have been enough to in <laughs> to hint uh, it's blowing up behind you. So be careful. A quick save everywhere. Llamas? No. Oh wait, no, it's lo locking my ass off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where did you go? Where did you get llamas from there? I'm ran a little bit too quickly. That uh, way. <laughs> All the way back here? Oh, and I hear I thought we if you need to do this for but but it, at least we now know what to do. Yep. Okay. Alright, some... I'm not the only one seeing llamas at times. Yeah, when we're stepping on this it's on shields. So... That's odd. And I hear you. Okay. That's one. That one. Up we go. Uh, that's that guy face plants. <laughs> bye bye. But, uh, I may have already said this in the previous stream, but the coil suit itself is just really freaking cool, huh? Yeah, Even just I, all the, the decorations. Yeah, I, I kind of hope they can make it UI like that again. But they have a short term, and this is not such the UI that's just decorative. Like, it does look pretty as heck. But it does serve a function that kind of makes sense in a way. Yeah. In the link, you follow the bullets for stuff like, well, the bouncy bullets here and the mortars. Well, I was thinking more for the ammo thing, and it, like you, you're able to select what ammo you're using from an eye view. True. Okay. This uh, would kind of make sense for this kind of armor. Ed, from what I hear, yeah, from what I hear, the original idea behind MDK was basically that you were working as a sort of assassin, and. This is a very assassin-like suit, save for all the gold trim. Yeah, that, 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 that's kind of what I got the expression of from the demo of the very first game, and you look, again, like a pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah, first one got it already. That was a bit overkill. Okay, just grab these. Check one of these up here to see if they work. Kurt needs Actually, to work on his throwing arm a bit. I kind of do want a wooden arm cannon like that be practical. Uh, well, Samus seems to get some decent mileage out of hers. Yeah, I guess uh, it depends yeah. on what they are firing. Yeah, uh, Ma Mass Effect uh, rounds, uh, Mass Effect weapon, yeah, a Mass Effect uh, weapon type like that would work, probably. Yeah, I don't know much, much about the Mass Effect weapons, but yeah, yeah. Like, Samus, I guess, works as, is more of an enemy weapon, most of them. Uh, the thing uh, with Mass Effect weapons is they're, they're basically miniaturized railguns, and the ammo they use are basically uh, yeah, sh tiny shavings off of a metal block. Okay. But they are not arm cannons, though, are they? Nope, but you could probably work one to function like that. It wouldn't be the most powerful. There we go, got it. 
But it would definitely work. Yeah, but the question is, would it be practical? Like, if you look at these guys here, normally you expect a weapon like this to be having quite a nasty recoil on your arm. Do I hope the armor here is helping? Oh, yeah, quick save. Yep. Uh, Thank the, you, Zoro. Uh, the thing with Mass Effect weapons is that uh, uh, E equals MC squared. So, the, even if the op, even if the projectile is tiny, if this, oh, if the, even if the projectile is tiny, if it goes fast enough, it's going to be even more or you know, as or even more lethal than normal bullets. And yeah, they're real guns, so they're basically going just short of the speed of light or something like that. So they're definitely oh, going wait. fast enough to cast massive to cause massive harm. Uh, which direction? Yeah. Again, just hope the recoil will not wreck the arms. Yeah, that's also a thing with Mass Effect weapons. They, they don't have uh, much recoil unless they are like absolutely massive things. Ah. So if that thing, if that's a dead end there, anyways, or no, there's another path there. Yeah, huh. but when it comes to this guy's weapon here, I. It, it's basically a machine gun, which makes me wonder if it should have a painful amount of recoil, especially when the sniper is on his head. Uh, the for the chain gun part, no. here we go again. Can we make that? Uh, the chain gun part could be dealt with, well actually both sides could be dealt with if there's enough shock absorbers around the gun. Because it doesn't have to be direct. It it doesn't have to redirect the recoil directly onto his arm. It could. There's enough space around there to put in shock absorbers uh, to take it instead. Oh, all right. So you have to agree the helmet uh, one is definitely a bit of a stretch. True. Like uh, it says yeah. If it, like, it should probably be weird to sniper aim with the rifle on your head. <laughs> yeah. At least it would be aiming directly where you actually point it. Hopefully, at least. And we didn't need to pick that up, actually. Let's see. I can hear something. Okay. App. Okay. Dig move. Oh, Their shots can pass <laughs> through the grate, but ours can't. Oh, that's usually uh, uh, mm, very annoying. Oh. We can just shoot these out. Oh yeah, that health bar. Hmm. Maybe we should have tried shooting the glass earlier. No, I get the feeling it probably would have only worked with uh, explosives anyway. And here we go. Now, did that actually do anything other than make those things? Oh, I see air. I see an air current. Some grenades. Some life. We could use. Well, we're only missing four health, so let's not. Yet. Oh, hello. Invisible versions of you, huh? Catch this then. Yep. We even want to know what it's trying to say there. I don't speak whatever they are speaking, sorry. It's still you. It, it doesn't actually lock onto them. There we go. Normally the chain gun locks on, but not on those. And there's more of them. Okay, let's hope that this one is what we need. Cloak. Makes sense to find one when we're dealing with cloaked enemies. But how does that actually help us move on from here? Dude, it's a bunch of you now. Oh, um... oh this opens. Or was this already open? 
I think anywhere so. we're going up and getting out. <laughs> oh, this track again. More of you. At least they seem to be more attempting to get close for a kill instead of shooting us from a distance with their, their freaking hit scans. Yep. Speaking of. Okay, now it does uh -oh. lock on? What? Weird. Oh, hello. Got it. Uh, how do we open you? There's another one. Where am I just aiming correctly? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not locking on it, or not on this one at least. Don't tell me they're just infinitely respawning. Okay. What the? Where did the invisible one go? I didn't hear it die, so I don't think I got a lucky shot on it. Oh, got it. What? I, I think I got the bouncing one there. We're both a bouncy. Oh, there are you. Yeah, the, the one that we hadn't shot yet, I meant. Okay, both of those have been activated. What now, then? <laughs> okay, not that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, what to do now? I don't see any new of those things. Can we reactivate them or something? No. This, did, did this one not go correctly or something? Ooh. Did that almost shoot ourselves? Maybe. Oh. Oh dear. I thought I saw an air vent. Yeah, I, I thought so as well. Or was that just debris from that thing exploding? Oh, my pen. Yeah, debris. Okay. Science what fiction debris. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hello, sneaky motherfucker. Nope. Oh, hello. Less sneaky motherfuckers. So let's be a sneaky motherfucker ourselves. What are they dancing? Uh. I thought I saw only four of you enter, but oh well. Oh, and now this is open. And. I couldn't see if they were dancing or not. I was focusing on swapping uh, weapons. <laughs> and it seems they actually, they actually are smart enough to to spot where you're shooting from while you're cloaked. Well, uh, don't forget to save. Yeah, at the top of this one, or the next door. Yeah, I, I don't think we'll be done with this game in this stream. Probably next time. Yeah, either one more stream or two. Depending on how much... <laughs> Going by the skin of her teeth here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about doing the, uh, the, the final boss as every character. We could try and give that a shot. And they are... Wait, are those... Okay, for a moment I thought that, that thing was actually chasing us, but no. 
this item's over there. Uh, I have no idea which way we're actually supposed to go, so let's go back up. There's items down there. Where did, oh, there you are. Let, let's just go take a look here, since there's items and a, a pla teleporter. See? Laser chain gun, <laughs> black hole grenade, and a bit of health. Okay. And that... Up. <laughs> Goes right in the firing line again. Laser chain gun. Oh dear. Ooh. Hello, this doesn't look familiar at all. Uh, same? Good boy. Yeah. Looks like some sort of cyber spider. Hmm. Or squid? Speaking of, I hear that Splatoon 3 released. I'm not too much. I don't have too much interest in that myself. But maybe I'll pick it up at some point. I'm not care too much about it really myself. This, that's it, a teleporter that throws us back out. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the, the final boss. Uh, each character can take him on. <clears throat> But, yeah, that also means uh, some characters will have it a lot easier than others. Like, if I remember correctly, Max has it the easiest time since, well, he can just go guns a-blazing. Kurt is second in that. And the Doctor has the most difficulty with it. Oh dear, I guess, I, I think I can guess why. Yeah, since his weapons don't actually lock on like the others. But uh, yeah, I I'm guessing we, we can do it in that order then. Or maybe the order in of that the characters already go. That we go uh, Kurt, Max, then Doc. Well, it depends. Does the ending change? Uh, the ending itself doesn't really change, but you get told different bits, I believe. Hmm, alright. Then it might be worthwhile. Uh, it it's the same ending in general, but it follows, it tells what's, uh, uh, actually no, it, it does differ a bit because the endings do act as if the char that character alone uh, beats the final boss, uh, hello, instead of all th uh, three of them working together. And that's a lot of items to get. Hmm. Okay. I didn't see any other of these that were active. Oh, hello. Didn't we just completely walk past paths? Very likely. Get down. There's even stealth ones. Like arm cannons with bayonet, that kind of makes sense, in a way. Especially for the stealth ones, since they're a lot more assassin-like. Yeah, though it means you can, even if you run out of ammo, you can still stab them. If they get too close, you can still stab them. Uh, I, I think we have to go get the items after each one. Or maybe it's time thing, or we need to deal with the enemies. More of these is nice all the same. This one has formed a beam, or has formed a connection. This one hasn't formed a connection yet. We need to do something for that to happen. Or will it form whilst we hit this? No, that one's inactive. I don't see any other enemies. Skulking around. Hmm. 
I can hear something. Oh, hello there. <laughs> you fell down. Oh, and there's a stealthy boy. It would be quite something to hear something like that uh, charging up to you, huh? I'm just barely seeing it <laughs> as it com uh, as it comes through your life. Yeah, that that's gonna be terrifying. Okay, so we just have to defeat the enemies after each one of these. This is going to take a bit and going to be annoying, but oh well. Yeah. Oh, hello. A bunch of probes, including a red one. Which, yeah, the red ones are the more difficult ones. They actually track your movement. And, and aim accordingly. There we go. Easy enough. Okay, I think the game is expecting us to jump down after activating each one because of that. And while well, it puts us right here again. It's basically a, a gauntlet. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, this will this will probably take the rest of the stream. So, <laughs> not going to judge anyone who decides to cut to the next one after this. Yeah. Oh, hello, yeah. Hans. What? Been a while. Oh, Hans is because there's another one behind us. Another. Okay, we have a bunch of these. Go suck a black hole. Um. Oh, there we go. You're even here. It starts to pull us in. <laughs> this is so comically so... underwhelming. <laughs> uh. oh dear. Oh dear. This game is just stupid enough to be hilarious. Oh, sniper shields. Hmm. Yep. Wrong button. Let's head the other way. I was trying to swap to the laser gun. <laughs> yeah, that would be anticlimactic as all hell. Just chuck a black hole at his face and... Uh, hopefully we'll get another of those. But we won't be able to use it for this round. <laughs> what the heck? More probes, more probes. Wait, is this probes. the laser gun you're using now? Not yet. This is it. Oh, but you don't actually track. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. Or do you? Are you tracking or not? I. I can't tell if it's tracking or not because I'm automatically correcting my aim to try and hit them. It does do a hell of a lot more damage. Yeah, it's not tracking. That's my own auto-corrections. Not auto-corrections, corrections. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, 
Okay, that we'll have to keep that in mind for when we use those. Probably, probably save them for bigger targets. Yeah, they're, they're probably more meant for targets you don't need to all to aim for. Uh, sorry if there's sounds in the background. People are leaving and apparently having troubles with the, their own motors. That and they left the door open. I don't hear them. Okay, then at least it's getting filtered out. Or just not loud enough. Yeah, it might be too far away from your mic. Okay, there's still something alive. Uh, nope. Yep. Okay. Farters. Yep, psionic farters. What's with this screen? I don't know why. There's something about the screams that are so amusing. All and the it, more reason that, to go after them, huh? Yeah, but it's also in a way disturbing that you feel amused for killing them. No, they are extremely like, rude. That too, but still. It does oh. sound a bit uh, twisted. Is there one alive? They can... I'm pretty sure I killed all of them up there, but did one of them fall down, perhaps? So this one hasn't activated. The connection isn't made yet. Or do we need to go... up? Oh, there you are! You little shit. Okay, that should be enough. Room, 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 room. There room, we go. Room, 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 room. And hmm, no items. No, let's deploy this one preemptively. Just a stupid thing. No fight, actually. Huh. Uh, yes, it just deflates Ew. like a whoopee cushion. Oh, yeah, blame oh, come whoopee on. cushion. Oh, there you little. Uh, not so little. You... Don't chase that whilst I uh, just vanish. Oh, it's them again. Yeah, they are definitely big enough targets to use these on. All right. More of you. Yep. Ow. We all hurt him very heavily with that weapon. Yeah, it is a it is an outright laser, so it just burns straight through them. go that's the last connection now what the hell did we actually activate here yeah I kind of wonder as well we were kind of in the beam of that but we seem to have come out on top yeah that that was yeah I'll call that what that is that was padding yeah, that, like, uh, that, that, why do we need to do all that? Like, that, that didn't even feel like I'm preparing a shortcut. Come on. I wonder if it's possible to shoot out their helmets with a stray shot. There's a gun up there. Well, I would think so. 
Wait, you just poofed? It teleported. Okay, just... I'm guessing this is to prevent it from bouncing around too much to where you can't actually hit it. That's a good bit of design. Because if that thing got stuck over here... Yeah, that'd be a problem. Yeah. Yep. I think we shot that one through the shoulder into his helmet. <laughs> Nicely aimed. Was that ham? Yep. Look like and alien ham. <laughs> yeah, that's the same ham that we've been finding all over the place. Uh, the one from the gameplay and just the humor itself excluded, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Another chain gun. Well, laser gun. Hmm. We got freaking four of them, and where did those shots come from? Uh, you? Where the hell did you come from, even? Oh. Also, it's making boing sounds as it bounces around. <laughs> Boing, boing, boing. Yep, first shot. Not first well, shot, but second. Oh, and nose is starting to itch. Yeah. Just crush it with a morning star. No, you may you do not have permission to hit me in the face. <laughs> no, no, that's a scratch, not hit. Yeah, yeah, we both know what that means. <laughs> what about the chainsaw? No. So you throw me? Oh, wait, that probably would count as a biological attack, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> there we go, got it. We are almost out of time, though, so we'll probably have to save in the middle of the level. Yeah. Hello, Hello, big boy. We did extend the time a little bit. Oh, yeah. We, so we have about 15 minutes. It, leaving that one behind. And it looks like the rest have just been activated. Okay. That totally doesn't look like a screaming mouth. Or <laughs> An open mouth, yeah, I, at least. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, a screaming face. Hmm. Also, I'm pretty sure those are peaches that we're eating. The, the 25 health one. Okay, peaches are a bit of a rare health item variant. Usually it's uh, like an apple or so. Or ham and meat, but peaches... A bit more rare. I don't think I even know a game where you eat a peach to heal. Kirby, maybe. Also, where's Swang and his uh, swag wagon? Uh, what doesn't Kirby eat? Yeah, but <laughs> that's a much shorter list than what Kirby does uh, eat. Okay. I think I remember something about shooting orbs on his ship. But I have zero recollection about this game, so I might be completely wrong there. About zero recollection of this fight. Yeah. Okay, we jump for those. Not for Jory. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, on on possible uh, models to hello. What is that? That's a it's a dummy decoy. Where did it go? On possible models from this game to turn into a 3D figure. Uh, I'm thinking the. Uh, the soldier units. 
not Kurt? Uh, Kurt would be pretty hard to, to paint with all of the lines, I think. Uh, we could give Kurt a try. Maybe fix up his face some. Well, Maybe. he looks like he, oh. he could be the easiest of all, but... Hmm. Okay, we need to... Sp we need to shoot out the orbs. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, good thing we're safe there. Yeah, well watch your done. footing. Oh, dear. And also, I think those are alien hams, but they don't look like normal hams. Hmm. Let's see. We've got a super chain gun, a laser chain gun. Uh, I believe those are sniper grenades. Not too sure if we need those really. Though we, we probably do want to get rid of this one since it doesn't actually aim. So you 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 want to save them for the other mobs? Yeah, we're we're going to yeah we're going to lose these after this level anyways. Oh. There is a tiny bit of travel time. Okay. Just gotta deal with the literal grunts. Oh, and dodge those. I'm, I'm going to assume that those don't hurt their own, but... Could always be. Okay. He dives. And despawns. And reappears here. Okay, we we lo we shot out at least one of the orbs there. That's another gone. Oh, big boy. Oh. How did you get here? Okay, I think we got most on this side, except for that. Ow. Let's try and... There we go, got that one. That's one entire side cleared. You first. Okay, underside. Yeah, he was going too fast there. Okay, where are you going to reappear? There. I should maybe leave the big one for the last. But oh well. Okay. Yep. Some shots. There we go. <laughs> Still in time. Yeah, that was basically a mini Cooper to him. Was that a space Prius? <laughs> I guess. That's twice, Schwang. Give up and leave the Earth alone. It's not a personal kid. Orders from the palace. Orders? From who? Emperor Zizi Baluma. It never ends, does it? One mess after another. Oh, and the biggest mess is yet to come. Yeah, he's an interesting character. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd probably say that outside, well, outside of these main characters, Shrang is basically the only character. But he is probably, if I had to choose, I'd probably say Shrang is the most amusing. And hello, B BFB. And uh, hello. This is not going well at all. Was one of them walking sideways? And yeah, they just all poof out, and uh, there's an alarm going off. <laughs> Yeah, Max is, uh... <laughs> Max is like a walking disaster to these guys. Yeah. Let's put it mildly. Okay. Uh, I don't know if they keep spawning, but those flyers probably will. So let's just keep moving for what little time we have left. Uh, yeah, the aliens are actually getting why <laughs> being smart and not uh, going fuck this if we want them gone just throw a rock at it <laughs> Big explosive rocks in this case, but still oh, dear. Thank you Actually Let's empty one out. Oh, this isn't actually where we need to go. This is just a weapons closet. <laughs> Okay, uh, there's a gun over there, so let's go and grab that. Uh, I'm gonna take off for now. You guys have a great stream. See you around. We're going to end soon, anyways, in about five minutes. So thank you for sticking around, uh, Gazaro. Uh, hope to see you another time as well. Yeah, I hope to see you again sometime. And thank you for joining. Yeah. And I think I heard a sound of them. Did, did they subscribe to us or something? Uh, well, yeah, but actually, yeah, thank you for the follow. Uh, we missed yeah. the sound notification for that. Uh, that is luckily why we have that uh, event list up. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, you were here to the end then, all right. Uh, thank you for the follow again. <laughs> uh, uh, one of these places has to be an exit. Another Uzi. <laughs> ah, here. I think. Is this the exit? No, just more guns. <laughs> what, are all, what are these aliens going with all these earth guns? Legends? Okay, but seriously, where do we need to go, though? Hmm. Now we're turning back on ourselves. Uh, And, yeah, with, with this place being called Swizzle Firma, I guess we can call the, well, at least one a type of the aliens, the Swizzles. And I think this is where we spawned. Yeah, this is where we spawned. Where's the exit, then? Are you already lost? Yep. <laughs> I, I, I can't take you anywhere without getting lost, can I? Also, I'd rather not want to know any more about this place, so... Hmm. 
Did I miss something? This is the weapons closet. With respawning weapons, luckily. Also respawning enemies. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this place is basically Coruscant. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, I can see that. I, can, I think I can see that. Oh. oh. I was just randomly shooting and I shot them in the midair. Instinct okay, of your luck. Or both. There. Okay, take an extra shotgun. Oh, these guys. Uh oh. Yeah, it, it just shows the amount of difference in firepower between Kurt and Max, eh? Yeah, no, he has four guns, so. True, so he is kind of cheating. Where did you come from? Did you, did you squeeze out of the hole? Normally, we need four guns oh, like this a bit of overkill, but when you have something like these, you really need to just... No. Yeah, fill, fill them with holes. Yep, and we just caught an, one up our... Well, Max just caught one up his hole. Ew. Uh. They forgot to unequip that one. <laughs> no smoking allowed. That's what the alarm is about. I actually missed that uh, no smoking bit with that alarm always. And hello, uh, did we just? Okay, we can strip it... these things. Okay, I guess this is the home planet. Yeah. It makes me wonder: are these al are the aliens mercenaries or something? Yeah, I'm guessing we it's just... a covenant thing. Who Gatlings? That or there's the previous Congan people. Well, all right, the covenant thing of the other Congan people. So, actually, let's not waste too much time. Uh, hmm. What do we actually need to do here? Destroy all the statues? Now we need to destroy that in the middle. I think. One minor complaint I have with uh, Max's combat, or actually his, more his controls, is that the equip and unequip buttons are different. So, I currently have them. I have it bound that Q and E move side and side, and then R and F equips and unequips. But if it was just one button for equip unequip, that would have been a, a bit easier. Okay, I remember something about this place. There's something uh -oh. with those platforms. I think each of them leads to a button. Yeah, let's see, we have one minute remaining. Can you do it? Uh, probably not. It's going to be a bit of a tough, <laughs> tough speed run. That lost you. I think I remember. We need to shoot out those things at the top. But only one platform goes to each. At, at least they're color marked. And of course, the guns still respawn. Wait, it's actually firing two slugs at a time? And... Oh, they're all going to the 
middle. Hmm. That means that we're going to need a jetpack or something. Okay, how do we get down without breaking Max's legs? Good question. Yeah, we need to get to the middle and... Okay, I think we just need to fall down, so let's do a quick save. I would end it here, but these guys are probably going to keep spawning. Actually, yeah, now we have a bit of a window, so... Uh, yeah, let's save the game. Max stream. And, yeah, head on out and look for someone to raid. Uh, yeah, it is still... It, like Similar to Rayman 2, it is a short game. But a lot of these games were pretty short back in the day, so let me turn that off. We've seen enough yeah. of my desktop. They just felt longer due to how much difficulty you had to finish them. Yeah, and just the controls of the time. Okay, let's see. Is anyone we know online? It doesn't look like it, and we can actually switch to here. So we're going to be looking for new people again. Let's see. Someone called Hamster of Wrath is playing Battletech. Someone called Old Dragon. I think we have seen them pop up in the recommended before. Uh, they're, they're streaming a D and D, just a tabletop version, it seems. We have Sprigleaf, uh, who is streaming Moonbreaker. Then <laughs> Beardhausen, who is streaming Audio Surf Two. And those are most of the smaller ones. So any of those sound of interest? Not really. Okay, then looking around for more. Uh, someone's streaming XCOM UFO Defense. I, I think that might be the original. Let me just mute the site quickly to not uh, steal audio. Uh, yes, it is the original. Uh, oh. Then we have someone streaming Core Keeper and someone streaming Minecraft. Someone, someone. Are they all called someone? <laughs> no. Imaginative name? Uh, let's see. Stefan Joyce is streaming Core Keeper and Touch Scaly Tail. Uh, we have seen them before as well, is streaming Minecraft. Is that Vanilla? Uh, okay, that doesn't look like vanilla. <laughs> so, yeah. Any of those sound of interest? The modded Minecraft, Core Keeper, XCOM? I guess we can raid one by playing uh, modern Minecraft. For, I think we related them before. Uh, not too sure. I have seen their icon before, but I don't think I've seen their 3D model before. So, yeah. Copy the name. Head to our channel. And slash raids. Okay. Start that up. Uh, thank you, anyone has. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, anyone has been watching now or later. Thank you, Gazaro, for sticking around and having a chat along with us. Uh, thank you for the follow as well. I uh, hope to see you in later streams. Uh, after we're done with MDK two, we'll be moving on to Rayman three. Oh dear. And we're actually getting close to one hundred followers, though there. Oh. Not too many of those are active, but we should we should maybe think on something to do for a hundred followers milestone, perhaps. That'd be something. I'm not sure what. Uh, maybe we could do and it on a long stream. stream. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around again. And uh, yeah, Rayman 3 after we're done with this one, but for next time we will be returning to Shantae and the Pirate's Curse because we've done our two main week streams, which means that, well, Saturday, Sunday, or... We we used to call it the Saturday Sideshow, but since the schedule has been changed up a lot, we could call it more of a Sideshow stream. 
and, yep, and th normally we do something Sunday on Sunday, though. Don't have yeah, time for that, Dan. Uh, wait, what? Yes, we won't have time for that since we we should do a, a Shante stream. But for now, the raid is about to yeah. go off. So thank you all again, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, folks, and watch out for gremlins.